new day. For new adventure on our honeymoon. We are hiking the Lame Sure Trail to the petroglyphs. Um, and the petroglyphs are really cool because one of them is actually the shape, kind of like a mask, like a scuba mask. But it's the uh, island's like symbol for everything. So it's kind of everywhere throughout the island. Um, and they were carved by the Taino, Taino. Taino people, um, which are the indigenous people, around 900 to 1000 AD. So quite a long time ago. So the trail, the sun says it's like 2.1 miles to the petroglyphs and 2.8 to the Reef Bay factory. Um, we're coming from Lameshire Bay which we found looks to be easier. We kind of scoot along the outside of this peak in the background. We kind of go over that. The way most people go is down from the center line road, the main road across the island. So you've got two miles down and two miles back up where we have what looks like uphill to that peak and then downhill the rest of the way. So, the book said it's supposed to be a little easier. We'll update you when we see the petroglyphs. there for a while and relax too. Yeah. We got to enjoy it and see the heron. Right. And the, like, hearing the doves talk and the different ones, different species talking back and forth and then hearing the bees and the dragonflies buzzing around was really cool. It was peaceful. It was peaceful. For a little bit. But no, it was really cool. I mean, I think it was supposed to be peaceful. That's why they went there and drew pictures. Picture, pictures, carved, carved pic pictures. So that's a termite mound that we've learned. We'll pass a few more. They're also St. John meatballs. According to one of the other people we ran into on the trail. And they're actually really good because um, they break down all the fallen wood instead of like being destructive. Um, plus I feel like most of the houses here anyway are not made from wood, they're made from like brick and stone. So um, they are really great and make those huge mounds. So we're on the Lamecaster Bay Trail, heading to the Petroglyphs and the Reef Bay Trail. This is much better than coming down from Centerline Road, but out there is Lamecaster Bay, and then one of the salt ponds, but basically come from up there. You got your uphill at the beginning, but downhill back to the car. We're on our way back to the car now. But coming from the petroglyphs, Back this way, it's about a half a mile uphill and then all downhill to the car. These are the ruins here at the trailhead for Lameshire Bay Trail to the petroglyphs 
we just finished the hike it wasn't too bad it doesn't seem like two miles um we may put in what the actual gps distance says but it was really cool seeing those we started about eight o'clock it's now just after 11. that's limeshire bay right out there Just finished dinner at the windmill bar which was a really pretty view over the bay and i had a buffalo chicken sandwich and it was really really good and now we're gonna hike the peace hill which goes up to the peace hill windmill and there's also apparently like a statue of jesus like in rio that's supposed to be up there but the sun's starting to set and maybe we'll catch sunset yeah finally made it to one of the last beaches on the North Shore, which is Maho. We haven't snorkeled this beach, but we came down here at sunset. The waves are starting to get a little bigger on the north side of the beach. But this was known as the locals beach because you can park right there and there's picnic tables. You just walk down. The book we had said that the locals kind of come here after work sometimes. What do you think? Pretty. The waves are crashing bigger than we've seen. So it's hard to see at night. Some of our videos shown it, but Maho Bay has little shops on the side of the road. But the sun's finally started to go down over there we're gonna make our way back to the villa update our journal and get ready for tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna try and snorkel again we did all our hiking today <laughs> 